so in the absence of Srimati Sarojini Naidu, it is my proud privilege on behalf of women of India to present this flag to the nation through you. I have a list here of nearly a hundred prominent women of all communities who have expressed a desire to associate themselves with this ceremonial. There are hundreds and hundreds of other women who would equally li like to participate in this function. It is in the fitness of things that this first flag that will fly over this august house should be a gift from the women of India. We have donned the saffron color. We have fought, suffered and sacrificed in the cause of our country's freedom. We have today attained our goal. In presenting this symbol of our freedom, we once more offer our services to the nation. We pledge ourselves to work for a great India, for building up a nation that will be a nation among nations. We pledge ourselves for a working for a greater cause to maintain the freedom that we have achieved. We have great traditions to maintain, traditions that made India so great in the past. It is the duty of every man and woman to preserve these traditions so that India may hold her spiritual supremacy over the world. May this flag be the symbol of that great India and may it ever fly high and serve as a light in the gloom that threatens the world today. May it bring happiness to those who live under its protecting care.